Okay, so I'm back. I've just had to restart the video because I said something quite stupid. And um, I re don't regret saying it, but I, I'm i pretty sure anyone from Western Australia watching these videos would not like what I said or would agree with what I said. So anyway, um, welcome back. So what I'm going to be doing today is uh, the aircraft. I've just found them. I've gone through this whole thing and um, yeah, so I've got quite a few aircraft here. There's one, two, two on this sprue and two on this sprue. Uh, two large ones and two small ones. So what I'm gonna do is give those a bit of a paint and um, yeah, get on with it. So I'm looking forward to this one. So anyway, uh, had just had a great dinner. It was a corn beef or silver, corn silver side, um, or as we used to call it in the Navy, corn dog. Don't know why we called it corn dog, but we used to call a lot of things strange names in the Navy. Um, with a mustard, so a, um, it meant to be seeded mustard, but it was actually hot English mustard and parsley sauce with some steamed veggies. It was delicious, peeps. Seriously was. I'm pretty sure most people would know what corned beef is. Because um, if we'll have a look at the analytics on my videos, people who watch it are all over, <laughs> are all over 50. Um, but I guess scale modeling is not really a, uh, probably the young, the young fellas take up. I mean, we're all young, um, but yeah, it doesn't look like it's a big hobby for the young people. Even though Andrew, he likes watching these videos. You, Andrew. Um, yeah, so it looks like Perth will be probably going back into lockdown tomorrow. I don't know if I just said that. Um, it's quite sad because tomorrow is a big day for the West Australian sport community where the Fremantle Dockers and West Coast Eagles play. It's called the Western Derby. Um, obviously, I'd hope that the West Coast Eagles won So I can't stand the Freo Dockers. Two local teams from Western Australia. West Coast are the, the original team. Won four premierships or it's the equivalent of the Super Bowl in America, the FA Cup, or whatever you call it. And um, Fremantle won none. So Fremantle aren't a very successful club. Quite a stupid club, actually. <laughs> I suppose that'd be like a uh, LA Raiders or Oakland Raiders supporter talking to a 49ers supporter. It's all this hatred between each team. Or both teams. So, I'll just put these back into my box. Oh dear. So I've got the four aircraft out and ready. I will be painting them tonight. Um, let's go back two pages. So I need to paint. Uh, I've got both the greens here. This is JN Green XF11 from Tamiya. Um, so pretty much the whole aircraft is, or both aircrafts are XF11s. So we'll have a, a look at this. Just have a look at this other message. Um, Mum just wants to know, suppose this lockdown will affect Mother's Day next Sunday. Fortunately, uh, tomorrow will tell. Hope not. Want to cook you and your brother a nice roast. So, oh, and also, because I'm doing a Japanese build, 
I'm currently drinking Asahi, which is a Japanese beer. Um, Mark, if you haven't tried it, mate, give it a go. It's, I'm pretty sure you have. It's, but don't drink it out of the stubbies, drink it out of the can. This is actual proper Japanese one. It was brewed in Japan where the stubbies that we get in Australia are actually brewed in um, Australia. Oh, such a beautiful beer. Got stories about that that I'll tell you during the um, build. Um, so, let me get. Oh, yeah. My little box. Okay. Little box. I hope you can still see. Get rid of these Bismarck stickers. Actually, no, I'm not going to use a box. I'll use part of a paper bag. Because the box, you can't really see much. I'll put that back under there. I'll do that for parts so we're not going to be oh, seeing much of it. Oh, excuse me. Finish this quick message to mum. All right, so it's the uh, JN Green, which is this one. Give it a bit of a shake. So I'll just turn this off while I get this all ready. Okay. So, I'm back. I've set up the, um, the paint or the airbrush. I'm going to try to do this so I don't miss out on too much of the underside of these uh, aircraft. Even though you're not going to see the underside of the aircraft, um, you still want it to be fairly authentic. Um, so just try to put them in the middle. Oops. So I'll tell you tomorrow what's happening with the, uh, the lockdown. Apparently Mr. McGowan, I will say, I'm not going to bag him 100%, but he has done a great job to start with. For the COVID, I'm talking about not general politics. But he um, very, he's really dropped the ball. So I know what I'll do. I'll um, airbrush the tops and the undersides that I can. As you can see, you can still see a lot of the underside. But I'll uh, paint. Brush, well, brush paint, 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 brush, <laughs> brush paint the, um, the parts that are covered by the uh, blue tack. So, all right, so I'll get my airbrush, make sure it's spraying correctly. Yep. And here we go. A bit of work you got to do on these aircraft actually. You've got to have um, the wings to do, the decals, decals to do. I have um, I've got to put the cockpit white on, which is normal white paint. Um, I do love painting them up, but these little aircraft. But look at that, I was saying, that looks alright. And once I put the, the white on, the decals, and the, um, the 
uh, what do you call it, the, the floats, the float planes. I think they're going to look fairly good. So, like I said, I'm not going to do a lot tonight because I am um, fairly tired. <laughs> now I have to find somewhere to put this. I'll put it here like that. There we go. That should do. I did have it on the, um, <laughs> the two Tamiya paint um, jars. But I need to put more paint, my paint back into the paint jar. Oh, do a leak there. So yeah, um, that's what I'm doing tonight. It sounds like I've lost interest, but I haven't. I'm actually really excited about this. I could keep on telling you all, but I'm just tired. You know, it's been a fairly long week. Um, I actually uh, did a bit of work in the supermarket today because they got absolutely slammed. Um, what they always do on a Saturday. And I got a compliment from a customer which sent me some uh, chocolates and a tin of Anzac cookies. Sorry, Jim Stein, 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 um, Steen, I think his name is. Um, they're the Anzac cookies you get in the tins. But with a depiction of some sort of Anzac um, scene. So, they're some of my favourite Anzac cookies. I've collected the tins for years. Um, I've probably got about nine or ten of them now. Um, either I collected them or my mum got them for me. So, um, yeah. So, I'll probably have a couple of those tonight. And maybe a couple of the chocolates that also also got given for it. Um, yeah, there's a lady at work, Michelle. She works. She's the assistant store manager of Woolworths. Uh, she every time she get a, a staff member gets a compliment, she'll go and buy a um, box of chocolates. So yeah. She got me a box of chocolates and a tin of Anzac cookies. So anyway, um, you don't want to see me clean my airbrush. This will be a, like I said, a quick video. It's done. Um, hope you all like it. I'll try to make sure I have the <laughs> the volume issue right tonight. Um, I've had a few people tell me that the uh, the music was too loud and I did make a mistake yesterday. I think I said, I can't remember. Because I don't know what I said in the first video or the second video. But I um, lowered the volume of the clip and not the volume of the music. So anyway, once again, please uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this. Um, hit the notification button that will let you know when I've made another video which can mean you can stay off Facebook, stay off um, YouTube or you can come and have a look and also comment if you feel like the, feel the need to comment. She's saying half past seven I feel like I slept my half asleep already. So anyway like I said we'll um, catch up tomorrow if things don't turn to, to uh, party. Um, I've only got one person on tomorrow at work, so hopefully it doesn't turn to shit and he'll be able to handle it. But if the illustrious Mr. Mark McGowan decides to put us into lockdown again, I'll have to go in on my day off and help. But that's what I do. That's the sort of person I am. So anyway, we'll um, reconvene tomorrow and I'll let you know what's going on and I will uh, either continue on with my build which tomorrow will be the actual just painting of the hull and finishing off a lot. So I'll finish off the aircraft, I'll finish off the aircraft first. And then um, probably Monday afternoon will be the painting of the hull. So yeah, it was good to talk to you all again. Um, stay safe, uh, take care of each other and um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah.